The day has finally arrived. We're gonna smash our own burgers because I'm sick of eating bad food. You might have seen the last video where I was at McDonald's eating their chili double cheeseburger and I was just so disappointed and I'm sick of being disappointed. And I'm not a negative person. I want to review good food, so let's make our own. Got a bunch of ingredients. I'm gonna prep it all, but I will take you with me and show you and talk you through what it is I am doing and why I'm doing it. So I will see you over at the um, cooker. I've got some 80-20 beef mince, and this is absolutely perfect for doing your smash patties. It's the only one I'd recommend. I wouldn't do anything less than 20% fat to mince ratio. So we're gonna weigh these patties at two and a half ounces. Let's see if I get it spot on. Okay, 3.1, not good. Two and a half ounces is, oh, there we go. I'm gonna need two of these because I'm doing a double. So what you're gonna do is just make some balls, but don't compress too hard. That will absolutely ruin it. You still, still want the gaps in the mince like that. See this? I mean, that is perfect. Let's see if I get this one on the money. Oh, 2.3, so close. Inside this mini shaker here, we have four ingredients. It is salt, black pepper, onion powder, and garlic. Two, two, one, one ratio, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder. I'm not pre-seasoning the mince. I'm gonna just leave that for when I'm smashing the patties, but right now we've got to make a sauce. You've got to be super prepped because those burgers do not take long. So let's get on to the sauce, something which when I tried the chili double cheeseburger at McDonald's was absolutely horrendous. It was lacking. So whichever mayonnaise you want, I'm gonna make plenty of sauce. I'm gonna do a couple of dollops and then some lazy chili, some chopped chili. You can chop your own, but we're doing this for ease. We're not, you know, we're not making it gourmet. We're doing it for ease. I'm gonna add a generous teaspoon of, of the chili. Get a bit of that that oil in there as well. Don't be shy on that. A little bit of sriracha just for a little bit of heat. Perfect. A sprinkle of paprika, just for that color. We just want, we want to make it a really rich, deep color. And then you see here, I have some jalapenos. I don't need to chop these up and put it inside the, the sauce. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit of that, that pickle juice out and just put let's say three nah two and a half two and a half teaspoons of that in there and then we're just going to mix there we have it if you want you can chop up some of the the jalapenos just for a bit of texture but i'm going to put some on the burger so we'll save those for later so we've got the meat the seasoning the sauce and a few um, garnishes to go inside but we're missing one thing and that is the bread bun and I've gone back and forth with myself thinking, what buns do I prefer for my burgers? A sesame seed bun, a brioche bun, or just a bog standard plain bun, no brioche, no sesame seeds. I went with these, Hovis Premium Buns, perfect to the last bite. So I'm hoping those are good because a bun can absolutely ruin it. I almost forgot the cheese. So this is what we're going with. It is Mexicana, jalapenos, peppers, chilies, and it's one of my favorite cheese. I love this on crackers. It will just add a bit more spice that we're looking for on this double chili smashed patty burger. It's got two spices on there, you see. So that combined with the sauce, we're looking for some heat. My mouth is watering. I can already taste it. Okay, so. Let's get the heat on. We need a high heat. Wow, that is hot. I'm gonna toast my bun first. I like to pre-butter my bun. You can throw a knob of butter in there and then put your bun down, but that's not the way I do it. <sighs> Crumbs. You may be thinking, why do you wanna toast the bun so soon? It's because those smashed patties cook in minutes, like a couple of minutes. And if you're trying to toast it at the end, what's gonna happen? the smashed patties will dry out. You don't want them drying out because you've ruined your burger. You've got a small window, okay? So that's why everything is prepped. You're just concentrating on the patties, okay? 
I like the feel of this bun. It feels like it's gonna hold the juices rather than the juices just soaking straight through. Feels like a good quality bun. Right, here we go with the smashing of the patties. This side of my skillet is a little bit warmer. It should even out really soon because I've got two flames on. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the balls of um, ground minced beef and we're gonna place them down. I've got parchment paper and then I'm going to smash them. That's exactly what you want. You wanna hit them with that heat, that sizzle. Allow room for smashing and then hit them. Really, really, really want to flatten these down. There we go. That is perfect. And then we'll get the other one really quick. Same at this side. And now hit them with some of that seasoning we prepared. Don't be shy, honestly, because you can't re-season once the burger's done. Don't be shy on that. So you're gonna wanna wait until the edge starts coloring up and then we're gonna flip them. This one looks like it's ready to flip. There we go, that is absolutely perfect, guys. That is exactly what we're looking for. You've got the crisp edges. Oh my God, they're looking so good. So now we get and we hit them with a little bit more seasoning on this side because we've not seasoned this side yet. And then what we're gonna do, the cheese like so, and like so. And then we're gonna take that, we're gonna stack it, allow them to finish off cooking. We're gonna just hit it with a little bit of water and then we're gonna steam it just a little bit. And then we're gonna steam it until it's finished. You can hear that. That is gonna keep in the moisture, it's locking it in. It is steaming there. Be careful, don't put too much water on, obviously heat, water. You know, it's not a good combination. See how quick these things cook, honestly. And obviously be careful if you're doing with cast iron, this, this, this is gonna get really hot. Look at that, look at that, guys. That is looking like the perfect smashed burger, isn't it? I think one more minute and we're done. Here it comes. Oh, double smashed patty with Mexicana cheese looking like something out of out of heaven, look at it. What's next then? Okay, jalapenos. And I'm not gonna be shy on those. Just like McDonald's did, we're gonna go with a couple of pickles. Just two, two is enough. Some of this sauce. You can sauce the bottom bun as well if you want. Just put a bit on there as well. Oh my God. And there we have it. Look at the state of this. I can't wait to eat it, let's go, let's go. My, oh my, wow. I'm impressed. This is the first one I've done on the channel. And believe it or not, that cast iron skillet is brand new. So this is the first attempt. And this is all because of you, McDonald's. I wanted an actual double cheeseburger, so. <laughs> That's what we've done, look at it, look. Oh, we've got to eat this, guys. How much would you pay for that? Honestly, name a price down below in the comments. Like, you get served that, what would you pay for it? I can't tell you what my mouth is doing to me right now. Okay, so right look in the part. How does it taste? It's gonna be messy guys, okay? But I'm doing it for you. And I'm sick of eating bad, bad burgers. Ready? Cheers.
Oh my god. Oh my goodness. There ain't nothing dry about them smash pies. The sauce works so well, the Mexicana cheese. Obviously the hit from the jalapenos and the crunch of the pickles. The patty seasoned so good, bun. It was a great choice in bun. You know it's good when it's dripping in flavor. It's not too runny, that's what you want. The juices from the meat, even though it's so charred and perfect, coming out because we steamed it at the end. No word of a lie. We do not have to change anything not one thing about those smash pies. That's all you need. Don't mess around with the seasoning. Keep it simple. The flavor comes from the pressure and the seal on that meat and the fat within the 80-20. And obviously a bit of seasoning, but just keep it simple. It's got to be the best burger I've had in a long time. It would be easy for me to lie, and it's really disgusting. Just tell you it was good. No. What would be the point? Honestly, I think I've kind of walked you through every step. You can make this yourself. If you stick to how I did it. Preparation is the most important thing. Because otherwise it's a disaster. If I had done the sauce... Got everything out ready. Pre-toasted the bun. Yeah, game over. All the juices. Honestly. So, so good. I'm not hating on you, McDonald's. But I told you. I told you I'm coming for you. I wasn't happy with your double chili cheeseburger. We'll do it better ourselves. And guess what? Oh my god, we nailed it. We nailed it. That couldn't be improved. It, how could it be improved? I don't know. Because I've done it myself. Seasoned how I like. Everything how I like. Is it a 10 out of 10? I know that's what you're asking yourself. Is this the first 10 out of 10 on your channel? What could have been better? The lighting on this video could have been a little bit better. Because I am in my kitchen at home. I am real. I will give it a 9.2 out of 10. It was excellent. Is a chili burger my favorite burger? No, but it is right up there. There are ones that I like more. So what I want you guys to do, if you want to see more of me doing burgers at home, smashed burgers though, because they're my favorite, I will do it 100%. But leave a comment and let me know what to put on it. Definitely could have had better positioning for the camera, lighting, etc, etc, but we'll work on it. This is just the beginning. 9.2 and a hell of a start. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and you want to chow down on one of those and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I didn't get that messy, did I? Thought it would be all dripping, but you don't want to see over there. Over there is an absolute shithole.